We're back at it again. This is coming straight after the Marauder video because I have enough free time and I'm off of work today. So let's get this started. All right. So we're coming at you with kind of a very weird one, but it is nicely made, I do believe. We'll see. And we're looking at the Godzilla versus Kong. Kong with Battle Axe. Freaking loved the trailer. The trailer dropped yesterday. Loved the crap out of it. I am so excited. I have not been this excited for a movie since King of the Monsters. I have been waiting for this ever since the 2014 Godzilla movie came out. And I'm so happy that we're getting the rematch of Kong versus Godzilla. And I am ready for it. So, definitely voting for Godzilla because Godzilla all the way. But Kong is definitely one of my favorites too. Um, anyways, this ain't a movie review. This ain't my prediction of what's going to happen. This is a toy review. So we're going to be looking at the Kong with Battle Axe. Age, ages 4 and up. And... Probably look weird to some people coming out of Walmart with, with this thing. But we're going to look at the box real quick, real quick before we uh, rip it open. I like the colors. I like the blue and the yellow. Uh, it's definitely a nice mixture of both. Of, it's kind of like an orange, but, you know, I do like the uh, Kong and Godzilla. Godzilla and King Kong right there in the back. Um... You got the character of the figure right there. You got the monster verse right there. A Toho legendary, blah blah blah. Battle damage review, reveal, not review. <laughs> That's what this is. Some of the city right there. Some cool little work right there. Right over there. And there's more that you can collect. So we got some writing here. I ain't reading it because I ain't gonna bore you with that. He's definitely a cool figure. I do like him. Um, they definitely messed up on the packaging, I can kind of see already, but we'll look at that in a bit. Uh, so first of all, you got two Godzillas here. This is where the, uh, thing comes in. One of them is pretty much an all-black Godzilla, and the other one is kind of like, kind of like the way he looks. Like, that kind of blue, maybe a little lighter, but they're pretty much both gray. That is definitely not, not completely true, but... Whatever. You also got Kong there. You also got a skull crawler, which is definitely kind of cool. I definitely want to would get him. Um, you got the the war bat uh, with osprey, something like that. Um, you got Godzilla with the radio tower, Kong with a fighter. Oh, there's another Kong. I didn't know that. You got uh, skull crawler with a heave, and Godzilla with a heat ray. I'm not sure which one I'd get. I'd probably go for the lighter blue Godzilla to get, and then I'd probably just get one of those. I'd probably probably that I'd probably get the Skull Crawler, but he does. This guy does look cool in the trailer, but we'll see about that. But the box is cool. But we're going to take a look at uh, the figure inside. So we're gonna cut him open, take him out, and uh, we're gonna see how he does. I guess. Alright, so, let's take out the big guy. I would have shown cutting these parts off, but I would have had to, like, do it on my knee. I didn't know that's kind of boring, so, let's get this off. I was gonna... Let's take all that off. But honestly, hold on, a cool little display stand, to be honest. That tape was not on that well. I mean, it was on well, but it, like... I like kind of forced the tape off and it didn't even rip. That's pretty nice. It's definitely a cool little display thing. Like if you just want to keep it and display them in that. I mean that's definitely a cool little option. I think with King Kong or with if I get Godzilla, I'd be a little more delicate because I did put a crease right there. But that's fine. I probably won't keep this packaging anyway. Maybe with Godzilla I will. But uh, yeah, pretty dope. Pretty cool stuff. Let's get all his little accessories out, if I can. There we go. Is this pretty much held in with tape? There we go. All that's out, so 
let's put them together. So, just looking at it, it looks awesome. I love the way he feels. I don't know if that makes sense, but I love the way he feels. He definitely has some heft to it. And even this, like, that, you can't even tell that it's, like, a separate piece. It looks like it's kind of part of him. I mean, you can definitely kind of see it. If you really look at it, you can see, like, the crease lines. But, I mean, pretty much from afar, you cannot notice that that is a separate piece. Um, I don't even know how to how you would get it out of there, to be honest. I mean, I think just, like, trying to shove your finger. I think if there's a little finger slot right there. Just that right there. You just pop that out. Yeah, that's it. But I do love the feel of him. He feels nice. Um, he's also got his axe, which I love the idea of it being like a Godzilla spine. I mean, it's not the current Godzilla's spine, but it definitely is a species of Godzilla spine, which definitely is nice. He definitely feels rubbery, which I don't know, but... It definitely is awesome for play. And it does look nice too. I do like the way it looks. There is a lack of paint on him. Which, honestly, it doesn't bug me as much. It does bug me with the axe though. But, I think for him, I think it's fine. Like, the more I think about it, because like, you're definitely going to have, like, this mainly for kids, not for like, me. But you definitely have kids like pretty much just bashing the crap out of them. So less paint is for less paint chip. You know what I mean? Like with these figures right here, I'm pretty sure if you roughed, like pretty much just bang the crap out of them, like he's going to get some paint chipping on him somewhere. But with him, you could pretty much just, I think you pretty much just toss him around and he won't get any paint chip. But even with lack of paint, he still has a nice little dry brushing here, pretty much all over him. His back does look a little plain, but I think that's fine. I don't know. There's just something about him that I like. I think I like Kong's version better than him. And I don't. his paint job is just, I like it. I don't know why I do. Usually I don't like less paint, but I do. His face is amazing looking i love the way his face looks um he definitely i don't know how to explain it he feels just nice i don't know how to explain it but if we kind of look at him and feel his articulation he definitely has a lot than what i was expecting so he definitely has his head movement and he can't really look up or down but i guess that's fine his arms feel nice they don't feel too loose they don't feel too tight they just they feel right for some reason he's got some some uh a hinge joint here and also a swivel at the arm and also at his hands too that was more than i was expecting when i first got him i didn't expect him to have this much detailing or articulation in his arms um, his legs, he does not have any waist swivel, he doesn't have any of that. They could have added one, but, I mean, who cares? Um, this is a 4 plus set, so. Um, his leg goes back that far, back that far. He's got a little hinge joint at the knee. No foot articulation, but, I mean, again, that's fine. Um, you pretty much have him... In that kind of pose i wish his head was a little up but you can pretty much have him like this you can just break his ankles or something have him like that which honestly doesn't look that bad to be honest i was doing it as a joke but it doesn't look too bad to be honest um there's definitely not much to talk about so this definitely is going to be a short video but his um accessories here i think the thing that bugs me which, again, it is a 4-plus set, is that there's not much detailing inside of here. But, I mean, I guess that's fine. But you get a chunk of Godzilla's fur and skin, or whatever. You also got his uh, battle axe here, which is uh, definitely nice. The hilt, I mean, it's rubbery, so it won't break as easy. 
but um, I don't know. It just doesn't fly with me, you know. I think the hilt, this part is just the lack of paint is definitely good for not paint chipping, like I've been saying. But it's kind of you know, it's meh. And the spike, I mean, the spike pretty much blends in with it too because of its brownness. I think it should have just been like black or something, but I don't know. The blue is kind of cool too. Um, it definitely is not bad looking. I think I just think it should have been painted a little bit better. And I do get paint chipping is a thing, but like I've been saying the entire review. But I don't know. It just doesn't fly as well. But Kong here is amazing. I was not expecting that at all. I did not mean to put on the flash, but that actually helps a lot. I'll definitely keep that in mind later. Um, but I don't know. I was not expecting him to be this good. I wasn't expecting the articulation here. I wasn't expecting any of that. I didn't even know it did that. I'm figuring stuff out as I go along. I love this guy. I love this review. Um, I don't think Kong's going to be, or Godzilla's going to be as good. But he... I don't know, it, I'm kind of blown away on how kind of decent he is. I love this figure. He's definitely going to go awesome on my Godzilla shelf because the only Godzilla thing I have is a Godzilla bottle. That I, let me just get that. It's just right up here. But this is pretty much the only Godzilla merch I have. It's just a Coke bottle that I got. Um, that's pretty much it for that. And I've been meaning to get a Godzilla figure, but... That's pretty much all I've all I've got on the uh, on the shelf. Um, but he is amazing. I definitely love the character. I would love to see an extra detailed figure with so much articulation in him. But this is definitely the best Kong figure that I've seen, to be honest. Like just the lack of paint, the lack of I mean, there is a lack of posability, but for some reason, it's nice. I don't know why it's nice, but anyways, I can keep going on and on about that. But that is it for this review. Hopefully you did enjoy. Was not expecting him to be that good, but I would definitely highly recommend picking this guy up. And we'll see if Godzilla is the same amount of quality as I think he is, because he definitely is just amazing i love this guy so much but that is all for this review hopefully you did enjoy uh remember all that stuff like comment subscribe blah 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 but i will see you guys next time see you guys later